Hey, what's going on, everybody? So excited to be with you live here on our OTG EMEA training page, also on the Spotify and podcast channels as well. Welcome to all of you guys. My name is Daniel Morel. I'm originally from Sweden. I now live in Valencia, Spain. And uh, my background is actually in the banking industry. And when I came across this opportunity, I just saw a chance for myself to be able to travel the world and live in different places. We've uh, done a lot of travel. We now live in the eighth country and uh here in spain and just loving life it's just brilliant got two little kids adela and win who are six and four years old and being able to spend all that time with them is absolutely priceless and that's the thing is this opportunity allows you to have that time flexibility which is worth way more than really any money in the world so um i just encourage all of you guys to build this to the top so you can experience the incredible time freedom that you can achieve in this business Today, I am super excited because we are actually going to do something a little different. We are, I'm going to uh, press play here on a few videos that I recorded uh, last week. We were in uh, Lax in Swiss Alps on our success trip. And for me, it is just unbelievable what this company does for you when you go on a success trip like this. I mean, I've traveled a lot, but when you travel with them on these success trips, it is a very different experience, okay? Even if you've been to a certain location, it is a very different experience because they bring all the little details and they just like they just do things that you're just like, what, how is this possible? How can they even do this, all right? Like they open up lifts for you in the middle of the night. So they, uh, they do all kinds of things, all right? Anyway, um, the first person we're gonna hear from today is actually me, all right? So I just did a little recording while I was going up one of the lifts there and just want to share with you guys a little bit more about the success trip. All right, so let's play that right now. Hey, I'm just sitting here in the lift, having an awesome time skiing here in Lax on the success trip, and just pondering a little bit about what does it really take to go on a success trip? Because, yeah, we talk about consistency and all these things, right? And just to share a little bit about my story is that I actually took uh, over, I think it was three years and about four or five months to get to Ruby, uh, which is obviously executive brand partner. And, and that's the first step really of, of getting on the success trip is getting to that position where you got to find obviously four amazing people to work with, right? And um, some people today are like, oh, if I haven't made it in my first six months, it's like they give up or the first year or whatever else. And it's like, just stick with it, you know? Like it's <laughs> it's not like it's gonna happen overnight for everybody. Yeah, there are some people that come in and they're superstars and they just do it right away. But not everybody can do that, right? But all of us, especially you, can stick with this, be consistent, work hard, and just keep on going at it. And eventually you'll get the skills, you'll figure it out, you'll talk to enough people, and you'll follow up with enough people. Follow up is very, very key. I mean, people sometimes they go, oh, good luck with this business. You know, get in touch with me in a year or two if you, you know it's going well. And that's the key. If you stay in touch with people, they're like, oh, you're still doing this. Maybe I should have a look at this, right? So for me, what it really takes is some incredible, incredible commitment and doing something every single day you know that's what we keep on seeing with all of these interviews that we're doing all the people we're talking to it's like they're, they're just doing something every single day whether it's just 30 minutes you know 10 minutes in the morning 10 minutes of lunch 10 minutes in the evening just put in that half an hour at least every single day and then of course if you can do more then do more right um, I did this part-time for my first two and a half years and 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 yeah it wasn't easy when you're doing something part-time right uh, but make sure it's part time and not just in your spare time because people when they do stuff in their spare time They just do it whenever it's convenient, right? And that's where you've got to you know make a bigger commitment You've got to be a bit more serious if you want to get on these success trips and the, getting on the success trip is that first step to you going all the way it's 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 you know, it's you get to surround yourself with amazing people. You get to see this lifestyle that you want to live. Um, when 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 our company when this game puts together these success trips, it's special. Like I've gone skiing tons of times before. I've been in the Alps tons of times before. But with them, it's just special. They just do it in a different way, right? They just everything is just top notch, and there's surprises everywhere. And it's just, I mean, they're able to open lifts when they're closed, and all these different things like that, right? So. Um, and that, and that happens on every trip. I'm okay, fine. This is you know the the, the ski trip here, but it's going to happen on every trip. There's always going to be something special. There's always going to be an amazing surprise, and it's just really up to you to to you know get to work and really take this seriously, you know. And I know you can have hard days. I had millions of hard days. Okay, we're not millions, but literally thousands of hard days in my business. Like really tough days, tough days where you're just like, 
man, nobody wants to do this. Nobody wants to join my team. Like, why am I not going anywhere, right? At least that's what I had. You know, there are some superstars that come in and they, you know, only have good days, but that's that's awesome too. Like, you've got to look at all those no's, all those rejections. It's an awesome day. Like, at least you did something, right? At least you got some people to tell you no. That's the key. If you can do that every single day, you know, maybe have a goal every day of getting five or 10 or 20 people telling you no every single day. It becomes a lot easier because some people are suddenly going to say yes, you know, <laughs> even though you're going for that. No, they're going to say yes. So all I'm saying here is that you got to make it fun. You've got to have that really big goal of putting it everywhere, you know, putting it on your, 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 your screensaver on your phone, like on your dream board everywhere. Get that success trip on there because that's the first step to going to becoming, you know, massive in, the, in this industry and building a huge, huge team. So. I hope that makes sense and I, I hope you enjoy all of these amazing interviews that we had here. All right, everybody, have an awesome day. There you heard it from me. So moving on here, we're gonna hear a little bit from Sherilyn. Sherilyn Barreto is on her first success trip. Her background is actually that she does new skin part-time on a full with a full-time job. She is actually full-time with, uh, she works for Capital FM as a digital, um, I think it's a digital account manager or something like that. And so she actually just, she loves her job, but she works new skin on top of that, right? And she was able to go on her first trip here. So let's hear a little bit more from her. So we're here with Sherilyn. It's our first success trip. Can you please share with us a little bit more about your experience so far? Yeah, so we're here in this beautiful ski resort and today we've been doing the new skin winter Olympics which was absolutely amazing. I've never experienced anything like it. We were greeted with flags and everyone was cheering, the atmosphere was electric, we are in teams and everyone worked together and it was just I can't even describe how amazing it was and we're in this absolutely gorgeous setting so it could not be better. We've had dinner, we've had drinks, we've been in the sunshine all day. So for my first trip it was like truly something unforgettable, it was amazing. Oh awesome and it's just it's, this is our first day here isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Uh, can you share with everyone uh, obviously so everyone pretty much wants to get on this on the success trip like what, they, what does it really take? I mean what's your current situation and and what do you feel like it really takes to get on one of these trips? Okay, so I work full time and I work my new skin business around like a really hectic corporate job. Um, but for me, like travel is something that really inspires me that I always want to do. Um, so to get on a trip like this was something that I really set my, set my sights on. Um, but you have to just kind of make it work for you. So if you've got a busy schedule, you just need to work in the evenings or in your free time and just really commit and focus. And um, it was hard, but it was so, so worth it. And the feeling and the appreciation that we've got on this trip is absolutely phenomenal. So I couldn't feel proud of something like achieving something like this. So just go, absolutely go for it. Amazing, huge congratulations on that. Can you share with people a little bit, like a couple of tips of like, you know, how can they get maybe their mindset right or what action steps do they need to take every single day? So for me, um, getting to this point, the, the biggest thing that I can say is you need to be consistent. You can't just decide to do it one day and then the next day just not do anything. I find for me personally that it works better with a little bit of action every day. It doesn't put too much pressure on you, but all that action compounds into something really big. And if you work full time or you have something else that's going on that's busy in your schedule, it just allows you to keep moving forward to that goal and absolutely build together with your team, like rally them round, support them, get the energy high, and that's how you'll absolutely do it because it's not just you alone, you've got your team to support you as well. Awesome. Well, you enjoy the rest of your trip. Thank you. Bye. You heard it. Consistency is the key, right? Doing something every single day. All right. Next up, we have Johan. He's actually, this was his fourth success trip, right? And he's just been in the business for four years. Absolutely amazing what he's doing. So just a wonderful time skiing with him as well. And his background is actually, uh, he's a golf pro, but also as a personal trainer. So let's hear a little bit of what he says of why you should really work hard towards these trips. All right, here with Johan, Executive Brand Director in the awesome luck. So Johan, please share with us, why should somebody go on a success trip? Well, just look behind me. I mean, even if you don't like skiing, this is, I think the, the temperature right now is like 14, 15 degrees. So we don't need the jacket. <laughs> so even if you like the sun, you should go. But no, but why you should go to success trip is because you meet so many people. You, you get to speak with million dollar circles, five million dollar circles, 10 million dollar circles. Um, and they're sitting right next to you uh, on, the, on the table next to you on dinner. And, and you get to meet so many amazing people that just started the business and you can have their story to, to get inspired by. And, and so 
And of course, I mean, why not go on a, on a free trip? Why, why shouldn't you? Awesome, love it. And share with us, so somebody is fairly new in the business, like how, how are they gonna do this? Like what, what, what's, gonna, what's it gonna take to get on one of these trips? Um, commitment. That's the only thing you need. You need to commit to something and then my suggestion for everyone, because I didn't do that in the beginning, is to keep it simple. Is to get something like a daily action that you actually do every single day. And, and it doesn't matter if you have laundry you have to do or, or if the if it's the cat's birthday or if the, I don't know, the hair dryer is getting sick. I don't know, any excuse that you might have, just do it. That's the only thing you need to do. And, and it's that simple. People usually do this business or make it more complicated than it actually is. Just keep it simple. Awesome, love it. Well, you go and have an awesome day here in the slopes. Thank you so much. I will, thank you. Keep it simple, but like just like Johan said, you got to do something every single day for your business, right? Next up, we actually have, I believe it's the first female uh, executive brand director in South Africa. And so she uh, came to switch all the way from South Africa. I mean, what an unbelievable experience it was for her being on her first success trip. So let's hear from Natalie. All right, we're here with Natalie, all the way from South Af Africa, executive brand director. Can you please share with us why should somebody go on a success trip? Um, I think that because you'll see the bigger picture of our company, um, you'll see how amazing they are, how they look after us, and that they have our best interests at heart. Amazing, but what does it really take to get on a trip like this? So, um, apart from the requirements, I think that it really takes daily habits and consistent work. So if you're not putting in your daily habits and you're not working consistently towards your goals every single day, then you're not going to get here. It takes hard work. Sometimes you have to stay awake till four in the morning doing work. It's stressful, but it's so worth it. And what would you say are some of your daily actions that you take? So definitely making sure that I'm recruiting every single day. Um, I see this business as a recruiting business completely. So that's my number one most important thing is building your brand. Um, and then definitely working on your mindset and staying positive. Awesome. So how has it been? You're coming all the way from South Africa to a trip here. That's got to be amazing. It's amazing. Especially as a South African, um, we don't really get opportunities like this back home. So it's been absolutely amazing. We don't get snow at home, so this is amazing for us. It's really cold, but it's amazing. Awesome. We look forward to having you back here on doing on a full call. Trip. Trip. <laughs> all right. Awesome. Thank you so much, Ali. Thank you. So what I took from that was you got to be recruiting every single day. Once again, consistency, right? So next up, we've got JD Van Ziel, also from South Africa, right? And he is now uh, uh, just attended his second success trip, and his background is actually in journalism. So let's hear from JD. Okay, we're with JD Van Ziel, all the way from South Africa, senior brand director in our business. He's on his second success trip here. So JD, can you please share with all of us why should somebody get on a success trip? Well, for one, you just get to go to beautiful places like Lax, where we are right now. In South Africa, we don't have a lot of snow, so this is a real treat. And what always amazes me with the success trips is just how far the company goes to really, really reward us for our hard work and how much they spoil us on, this, on these trips. It is hard to explain um, without sharing too many of the surprises, but at every single turn, there's something unique, uh, a little bit different and, and really going the extra mile to, to make this trip unforgettable and truly magical. Amazing, obviously you were in uh, Miami as well yeah. and now here in, in Switzerland, so that's absolutely amazing. But can you share with people, like what does it really take to get one of these trips? I think the first thing is to make the decision that you actually want to be on it. Uh, that it all starts with that and that is true for anything in life. It starts with a decision and a commitment and then just getting clear about what steps you need to take. Speak to the person who, who introduced you to the business, speak to your, your blue diamond upline or whoever it is that really g can give you some guidance about what the steps are that you need to get into place. And then it's really just taking that into action and ultimately inspired action, like doing the things, like working the business, but working it in a way that excites you, that fulfills you and that makes life feel ultimately worthwhile. Amazing, awesome. Well, you have an awesome time this weekend. Will do. Thank you. So make a decision, right? Make a decision right now that you are going to qualify for possibly the next trip or the trip after that. You know, for some of us, it takes longer than others, but you make that decision right now. All right, next up, we're going to hear from somebody who actually just went on their third success trip, and that is Lazy Banghart, who actually has a background in modeling and, and being a bit entrepreneurial and so on. So let's hear from Lacey. All right, we're here at the New Skin Olympics with Lacey Banghart, Senior Brand Director, and she's on her third success trip. 
Can you share with us, Lacey, why should somebody go on a success trip? Success trips are amazing. You're at New Skin just like you, so it's completely crazy. It's beyond your imagination. I wasn't too sure how I'd like this trip because it's a snow trip. It's been the best trip I've ever been on so far. And I don't think anything could top Miami. So every time they just put something out of the bag, it's the best time ever. It's my partner's first time here, and he's loving it. So I'm just, it's just the best thing. And if you don't, your partners aren't very supportive, or don't really understand what you do, get them here, and they're going to be fully backing you. And get to hang out with really amazing people. So last night, I was like just talking to like million dollar circle learners, and I was getting loads of tips from them. So it's just a great place to kind of mingle with everyone, create good teamwork, and just have loads of fun. Awesome, and how do you get on one of these trips? Like, what does it really take? Okay, that is hard work, guys. It's consistency, it's action. I remember when I was qualifying for Miami, which was my first trip, and it's the hardest thing ever. And I actually put myself so out there that I couldn't not do it. So I asked my best friend to come with me. First of all, she had that commitment. I was like, I can't let her down now. I told all of my friends and family I was going. I was like, guess what? And guess what, guys? I was a dish to you at this point. So you've got this for everyone, your business. It takes every day. I was working like crazy, crazy hours over there. I wasn't sleeping. I had Miami everywhere in my house. It was on my phone. It was on my laptop. I was just like, wait, Switzerland's on here too. Like on my phone. Like I visualized it. I worked so hard. And then you want to work with people and help them to become successful. And that's how you're going to get on these tricks, guys. Everyone can do it. If I can do it, Daniel can do it. You guys can do it. Oh, harsh, harsh, harsh. Awesome. Thank you, Lacey. Thank you. Apologize a little bit for that background noise, but we were having a lot of fun on this trip. So as Lacey just said, it is hard work to get there, but you can all do it. You just put in that effort and you just get there, all right? So next up we have Susie DeFreitas, who is actually based out of the UK, has built an amazing team in South Africa. And this, she is on her first success trip as well. All right, we're here with Senior Brand Director Susie, who's on her first success trip ever. Woohoo! Woo! Susie, tell us, please, what is it uh, like? What does it feel like to be on your first success trip? It's absolutely incredible. I am so happy to be on my first success trip. Um, it takes hard work, but it's so worth it when you're here and you get to experience with your own team and everyone else. You get to make so many friendships as well. So anyone who wants to work towards a success trip is so worth it, even if you have to work twice as hard. Is worth it. And what do you mean by that? Like, what's hard work? Like, what do you have to do to really get here? You definitely need to work hard to motivate your team ensuring that they are strong. Um, having a strong team is what's going to get you to where you want to be here. It's not just about you, it's about your whole team and ensuring that they are successful. Brilliant, excellent. And what would you say like on a daily action? Like what do you do on a daily basis? I ensure that I'm constantly building my business. Um, I'm not relying on anyone in particular, but I am progressing and I'm working within the levels of my team. So growing deep, I think it's really, really important, ensuring that my whole team is strong and helps a strong organization. Awesome. Enjoy this trip here. Have an awesome time. All right. Bye-bye. What I loved about what she said there is just taking responsibility for your own actions. And it's all up to you. All right. So next up, we have lovely Bex. She has actually only been in the business for a year and a half. And she actually started two traditional businesses before, but they both didn't really make it. So and now she is. Uh, full, then she went back to be actually at the call center she used to be at. And then now she's full time with New Skin. And she's on her first success trip. Let's hear what Bex has to say. All right, I'm just here with Bex. She's on her first success trip ever. So Bex, can you share with us a little bit what's the experience has been like and why other people should get on this? This is the most incredible thing ever. Before you actually, you know, qualify for a success trip and then you do it and you get so excited, you think it's going to be amazing. And let me just tell you, when you get on this trip, it is nothing like you imagine. It is a million times better. You cannot put into words the energy, the experiences, the love that you feel from this business all day, every day when you're on one of these success trips. It's incredible. I've brought um, a prospect of mine with me who's now joined the business after about six months of follow-up. Um, so trust me, you just need to get here, you need to share the experience, and you need to get locked into this business by being on these trips and bringing your teamies with you as well. <laughs> Brilliant, excellent. And what would you say, like, what, what have you done to make it on this trip? Not essentially, obviously, you built your teams and so yeah. on, but what does it really take? 
it takes so much. Sometimes it takes sleepless nights, it takes long hours. Uh, but the best thing about it is, is all that you're doing is showing other people how to become successful. And if you're in this business right now, that means that you've got the right attitude because you want to help other people change their lives. And for me, that is what got me to this point, you know, through the hard times, the sleepless nights. It was all about seeing my business partners succeed. And that's just what gives me the biggest thrill in this business. It's amazing. Awesome. Enjoy the rest of your night and I'll see you on many more success trips. Ah. All right. <laughs> All right, you guys heard it. It starts with making a decision, right? That's what you guys need to do right now is make a decision that you're going to be on a success trip in the future, okay? I would go back and listen to a call that was made by Mel Young on the 13th of March, okay? It's fantastic on goal setting, okay? Copy what she did for getting to the top of our conversation, but for you going on a success trip, okay? Because if it starts with that, going on a success trip, okay? And she just put reminders all over the place, you know, she just created this goal. She just couldn't fail, right? Okay. So you guys can all do this. You can get on a success trip and now is the time to make the decision and just work really hard for it, okay? Other thing I wanna mention here is part of that decision is to be in Tarragona, right? And making sure that you have at least four people there, right? But the problem is one of those four people are probably gonna quit. So you're gonna probably need to bring five people there, okay? So you have one as backup, okay? You get five people to come with you to Tarragona. So you're building five different teams, right? And my suggestion is to start having those conversations wherever you're speaking to people, not just the people who've signed up, not just people on your team, but to potential people, potential prospects, right? You let them know about this incredible event. You let them know that this event is where they can make a decision whether this business is for them or not. This is the event where they get to see if this is something they want to be a part of. And also, this is an event where some people will show up. They're maybe not even really signed up in the business yet, but they will make a decision at that event and one or two years later, they will have made it to the top of our business, right? And so that's why this is the best place for them to figure it out. And also, if they're really not sure still, if they're just hesitating a little bit, you let them know. You'd be like, look, you get there one or two days before the event starts, and you go to Port Aventura or Ferrari Land and have a fantastic time with all the rides there and whatever else, right? You make it a little, a little into like a family holiday or whatever you need to do, but anything to get there to this event, okay? So that's it for, for Tarragona. I just can't suggest enough how much it, it, it means for your business to build around events like this. But that for me is everything. It's like, it's like we, we, we recruit people and we bring people to events. We recruit people and we bring people to events. That's what's going to get you on these success trips as well. Okay. And lastly, here on the call, I just want to mention that when you are on these call, uh, when you are on these trips, sorry, um, you get to hang out with the best of the best. Okay. I got to go skiing with our next speaker who's going to get on, on, on this call tomorrow. And he's somebody that was one of the pioneers of Europe, one of the first people to get to the $5 million circle. Um, he's going to dis he got a background, uh, 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 he did an MBA at university. He then worked, had a great career in a, for financial industry in, in Luxembourg and, and later on joined together with his wife to build this business uh, full time. And they uh, amazing what they have done around the world and so on, okay? One of the true legends of our industry. And he's gonna come on here and share a little bit about those early days so you can get some perspective on all of this. I wanna thank you guys so much for being awesome. I challenge all of you once again to share this episode with somebody that wants to get on a success trip and go out there and work consistently every day and make it a lot of fun. And I'll see you guys in Tarragona. All right.